So let's talk about your unique idea about how a person can achieve their dreams, mm -hmm. whether it through, be through journaling and Writing I love the time. down. Yes. yes. You first. You Explain first. Explain the idea to people. So I've found that over the years in this industry, I've achieved a lot of my, my success by writing things down. I really believe in the power and the energy that comes from writing down your goals. Manifesting. And manifesting them, yes. Took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> uh, and I think that, you know, with everyone uh, having busy lives, it's important to remind yourself that you should take a moment at the end of the day to put yourself first and to have a quiet moment with yourself to just, you know, think about your life and your plans and your dreams. Um, it's what I've done over the years. I've absolutely, you know, loved that process. It's really helped me to get to where I am today. And what I love so much about this book and how it's arranged is that we use guided questions mm -hmm. to help you throughout this whole journey. And I think that that's better because I'm personally intimidated by a lot of blank pages. So these questions help you to ask yourself questions that you may not be asking yourself. To get and in touch see, with yourself. Yeah. I, I got a chance to look at the book. It's really, mm -hmm. yeah, it's really. And see where it takes you so yeah. yeah do you have a specific example where you remember journaling and oh, yeah. kind of manifesting something so this all started back in 2009 I was working on Broadway and I just started I got a, a blank journal and I started writing down a lot of quotes from people that I were was meeting who were inspiring to me and then I just started writing down some goals and some plans so this was 2008 I was working in New York uh, I was really being told a lot that I wasn't pretty enough for television that I needed to change my look but I just wrote down in this personal space that I wanted to purchase my own home. I wanted to move to California. I wanted to be on a television show. Um, and then some other, you know, details. I wanted to get a publicist, like things like that. And I made all of those things happen. You and willed I, it to yourself yeah. through writing. I and love I definitely it. think that over the years, a lot of great blessings came along the way. But I had these things written down, and no matter what, um, I was going to make them happen. Wow, it's kind of like a vision board, but you were writing it out. Totally, and I think vision boards are amazing too. I just like having this with me and on me, and I like writing it down, right. and I Getting personally like out. checking, like putting a big check mark next to it. It makes me feel so good. So do you have a ritual of how you do things? Like do you journal every morning? Mm -hmm. Do you journal in the evenings? Like how does that work? So I always keep it with me, and then when I feel inspired and when I feel like something comes up, I keep it by my bed at night too, because a lot of times a lot of ideas or thoughts will pop into my bed like right before bed, and then I'll be up at night thinking about all these <laughs> things that I want to do. So I'll just write it down by my bedside, and I'll keep it there and helps me sleep a lot. So you just celebrated a birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you so much. 29. It's my golden year. Your goal is 29 on the 29th. Nice. Yes. Well, so it's supposed to be a really good year for you. Yeah, mm. I'm excited. You should be. This, mm. this is it. This is the brink of like into your 30s. Yeah, what? right. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> Have fun. Now you, you only get to say you're 20 for so long. I know. You know? I but know. listen, I'm still, I went from playing a high school student to a college student, so I think I'm doing pretty good. You are. You're you know, right. I, I can definitely, next could be like an intern. <laughs> like a, I'm still playing younger, so yeah. it's good. Someone asked me the other day. I was at a spa, and they were like, "You're, you're, you know, you're not old enough to be here alone without a parent." And you look, and, and I was like, like yes. they were like, how, "I was like, how old do you think I am?" And they thought I was like 15. I was like, "Great." That's you know, you do. Yeah, look. job security. Yeah. <laughs> well, what exactly, especially in this town? Yeah, right. What do you want to accomplish before 30? Oh man, I, I really want to release my third or my second album, and I want to um, tour it. I want to be back on the stage singing. Um, that's really a big, you know, goal for me coming into this next year. Yeah. I've been working so hard on the new show and getting this book out there, and behind the scenes, I've also been working on the second record. So that is a huge goal for me coming into this next year. Okay, so let's talk about Scream Queens yes. real quick because the neck brace is kind of like the star of the show. Nah. What, is, what is happening here? <laughs> uh, I just really hope that. A a lot of people dress up as Hester for Halloween. Oh my God! You're like Re uh, see Rachel that. Berry was a really big Halloween costume for a while, right. and now Hester. So I, I'm I'm totally satisfied. But yeah, I really came into this just super excited. Um, Hester is an incredible character. It's a really great supporting role. I came from, came from, you know, being on Glee and leading that show for six seasons. And when Ryan offered this part to me, I felt it was a perfect thing to do, you know, after and so many so seasons. And it's so far from your other character. Totally different. Everyone's like, how is Hester different from Rachel? I'm like, I'll let you figure <laughs> that out. Did you no hear way. her tell you the whole description of how to break down a body? <laughs> also, wait till episode four. It gets pretty crazy. So are we ever going to see her like get a makeover though? 
Uh, you'll have to watch awesome? on Tuesday. <laughs> you'll have to see episode. Well, yeah, the first episode we aired was the pilot and the second one. Okay. But they made it one supersized one. So when, for me, episode three will be the second one that airs. And you'll have to watch that one. That's got to be probably pretty tough for you to get into that character because, I mean, you smash it's all very... the red carpets I've seen you at. You're so fashion yeah. you know, savvy. Thank so. you. Yeah. Rachel was very easy for me to kind of hone into every day. She was like an accelerated version of myself when I was younger. So Hester is like so different. A lot of the times I was like, Am, is this correct? But I was like, I don't think I'm going to know if this is right or not because she's like so weird. But, uh, but it's been super fun. Okay, let's talk about your red carpet style yeah. because I want to know like where like where do you pull your style or like what do you what's like the style look that you aim for? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm working with Brad Goreski right now who I just adore so much and I think he really kind of gets me. Um, I, I think it's important first and foremost to be comfortable. Yeah. I, I really believe in that and, and when I get ready for events or when I'm trying on you know dresses and fittings and whatnot, I don't do my hair, I don't wear any makeup and if I can put on a dress and I feel, feel awesome yeah. then it's like great because you never know how you're gonna feel on the day mm -hmm. you know, if you're you know tired or you had too much Chinese the night before and you're swollen and <laughs> so if you can try on a dress and just like not be at your best but you still feel incredible right. it's like that's how you know that's, that's the, the one. Dress.